What's going on, Facebook, YouTube? This is Courtney Truman Steamer. Today is January the 30th. One more day to go in this month of January. Uh, and we will be in the month of February. Um, this is a job I am doing for one of my uh, clients who I do some of her uh, rental homes. This is the first time I'm cleaning this home. Uh, I came out here Saturday. She had some tenants in here, as you can see. Uh, they did destroy the carpets and she wanted me to come out here and see if it can be cleaned uh, before she made the decision to replace it. So I came out here, told her I could clean everything except one room. So I put it on the schedule for today. I just got through pre vacuuming me, did a very, very um, thorough pre vacuuming me to get as much dry soil out of these fibers as possible. So you can see the uh, carpets have been pre back and I'm going to show you guys how much dry soil came out of these carpets. So look at this. This is two canisters of pre vacuuming and this is all the dry soil that came out. Guys, there is a lot of dry soil. A lot of dry soil. I mean, I've probably never seen that much. And you can just see all the embedded dirt uh, that came out of these carpets. So now that the pre vacuum is done, I'm going to go mix up some uh, some chemistry, mix up my pre treatment, I also pre back the stairs, my little stair attachment right there. And I'll uh, show you guys what I'm doing upstairs. So it's a total of three rooms downstairs, three rooms upstairs, hallway stairs and a little hallway downstairs. So you see these rooms right here. The masters. A lot of carpet has a lot of organic stains, so I'm definitely going to use a lot of oxidizers to uh, help remove these organic stains. This room. And this room, you see that? Pretty bad, pretty bad. So again, uh, about to get to work, but I'm not gonna clean this room. She's gonna replace this room. A lot of damage, holes in the carpet. So she's gonna replace this room. So this is the only room that I'm not cleaning. So it's a, it's a four bedroom house, but I'm only cleaning three of the bedrooms upstairs. Uh, so guys, I'm going to get started. I'm going to do some uh, um, recording as I'm cleaning to show you guys, you know, how the cleaning is coming out. That's the favorite part that a lot of my customers like to see is the cleaning process. Uh, got some wax and some kind of substance stuck in the fibers. Either uh, agitate that out or either cut it out. But again, um, if you do have a home, um, you just don't know... Uh, if the carpets can be saved, always give one of your local uh, carpet cleaning companies, especially someone who has a good reputation, and just have them come by because most of us will come by, take a look at it, because the price that I'm charging her to clean it is uh, very, very, uh, a whole lot cheaper than replacing this carpet because she had already got a few uh, prices of replacing the carpets from her contractors and to replace these carpets in the whole house, she was looking at almost $4,500. So uh, like I said, now she just has to replace one room. So, um, but yeah, man, that that right there, that's amazing. Let's just show you all this dry soil. I mean, just look at that. I mean, now you can tell they had dogs. Cause you can see all the dog hair uh, in the fibers. I mean, not in the fibers, but in the, I mean, look at that. Look at all that dust, dirt, dander. Look at all that guys. Ooh, that is a lot. Oh, that's a lot. Wow. Ooh, man. I've been cleaning for almost 18 years and I'm sometimes, Sometimes I'm surprised <laughs> to see what comes out of the carpets. 
So, all right, guys, let me go ahead and uh, get the hoses pulled in, uh, get some good chemistry made up, and uh, get these carpets nice and clean. And we'll come back and uh, see some cleaning and also see the after results. All right, see you in the next one. Well, not the next one, but the next one after this one. You guys get it. All right, YouTube, Facebook, I am done. What a job, what a day. So I got all my tools wrapped up, except my cellar door. Let's go in here and take a look, guys. Um, all I can say is wow. Look at this, guys. Uh, let's go upstairs first. Actually, let's take a look at the downstairs since we are the downstairs. My client, she is going to be so, so happy how great these carpets came out. Look at this. Oh, man. Again, this is all the dry soil that came out of the carpets. Now any any cleaners that's watching this, you guys know Sometimes we pour our heart and souls into these jobs. And I must say, this is one of those jobs where you really have to give uh, yourself a pat on the back. Especially when you take pride in your work. 
And when you do, believe me, the people that use you, they will see it. They will see it in you. Wow. That's a, a hole in the carpet. She can probably get the people that uh, change out that room uh, right here. So this room is being replaced to so probably patch that. And then the masters. And that's it, guys. So I am done for the day. And that's going to do it. All right, guys, this is Courtney Truman Steamers. Thank you again for watching, subscribing, following, and supporting. I greatly appreciate it. That's it for today. I just booked my last job for the week. Uh, so tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, I'm booked. And I'm already booked Monday and halfway Tuesday. So thank you again. I'm going to go ahead and put the lock box back on the door. Call my client, let her know I'm done. And I'll see you guys in the next one. And again, thanks for watching.